good dolphins. Now, the one thing that I noticed about your freestyle is you tend to bounce a little bit. And part of that is because we're doing the straight arm recovery in. And you can kind of see that there. I think you've already fixed that this week by working more on um, the the zipper drill, which keeps the hand more in towards the body and keeps the uh, the elbow up towards, uh, uh, sorry, more compact in towards the body. The one thing I want you to focus on is your head position. You can see the head kind of bounce a little bit. And when the head's bouncing up and down like that, that's causing my body to bounce up and down. I think the kick is, is good. It needs to be a little bit more consistent. But the one thing I want you to watch as you breathe is you're starting that breath here. And now I'm bringing that arm up. And right here, I want to be already bringing that head back down. Because what happens is if you breathe late, which you are, as the hand uh, comes around and gets ready to enter the water, my head's entering with the hand. And when that happens, I'm going to go in that direction. So what happens is, is I'm going to go in that direction as I breathe to the right. And then on the next side, if I don't breathe um, to that side, I'm probably going to flatten back out into the straight line right above the, uh, right on top of the, the black tee on the bottom of the pool. So it's going to create kind of a zigzag motion, um, kind of going with, with both of those. But that's an easy fix. I think you've already fixed that this week. One thing is I'd like to see you just try to uh, enter the water just a little bit more gently in terms of having the hand um, right there. You'd, you'd want the elbow just up a little bit more, and you'd want the hand more at an angle so that the hand and forearm are not entering at the same time. It's more the hands entering with the fingertips, pushing through, and I'm driving that hip. And you can kind of see there I'm swinging around again, and that's something that I think you can fix. Um, I think it's an e it's a good easy fix because of the fact that we worked on that drill and now you have that uh, the zipper drill to kind of work on. So, like I said, <clears throat> try to get the kick more consistent. That's the motor. That's where the the the, the power for the stroke is going to come. But keep up the good work, and we'll see you next year. Here we're going to look at Sydney's freestyle. Good dolphin kicks. Nice tight streamline. Now, you can kind of see you have a little bit of a bounce to your stroke. And a little bit of that is because you're picking your head up to breathe. The other thing is you want to stay in zero position with that head. So the head can stay in zero position and just turn to the side to breathe. And that way you're not going to have as much bounce. The other thing with the bounce is a lot of it's coming from a little bit too much of a knee kick. But as you're pushing down with that hand, you want to push out. You can see you're entering and pushing down. You want to push out and drive the, drive the hip. And then start the catch from the elbow. So then my catch would go, here's the elbow, here's my forearm, and there's the hand. And that creates a paddle. Remember, the hand to the elbow, that forearm, creates one big paddle, which is going to help you take a lot less strokes, be a lot more powerful, and just be a lot more efficient in the water. So I think the main thing is you want to make sure you're rotating equally to each side. Um, you're tending to rotate a little bit more to one side or the other. Part of that comes from breathing, um, but the other part of it comes from where you're entering. There, my hand's entering there, but watch where my hand enters here. It enters out still. Let me see. Here's my head up, kind of entering a little shorter there, okay? And that's creating that bounce position. So we want to and you can see the head is moving up and down from about a zero position to a two or a three. So those couple things to focus on. Keep up the good work.